So one of the things we have to understand about a table inside of the computer is this idea that it's not the same as you know this guy. We're not. Uh, we don't have chairs around it. We're not sitting. This is my terrible drawing of me sitting at a table. You know, I don't have meat. I don't have a steak, and I'm not uh, carrying on with a significant other. A table inside of a computer breaks down into sort of a grid-like structure. So this grid-like structure, we've seen this in the past. We see this pretty regularly, but it sort of starts to look a little bit like this. So what am I looking at? Well, right now, these horizontal sections, one, two, three, four, five, these horizontal sections are what we call rows. And then we also have vertical sections. Two, three, four, and five. These vertical sections, one, two, three, four, five, six, these are known as columns. And so if we do that little count, I said I had five rows and six columns, this becomes a five by six table. Now, one of the big things about this table is wherever uh, we have a row and we have a column intersecting, so why not that guy? That is known as a cell. And so all this allows us to do now is instead of working off of that idea of just putting in text on a paragraph, you know, yeah, maybe every once in a while indenting. Now we actually say, well, instead, let me put a little bit of text here, a little here, a little here, 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 and then we can start to uh, flesh this out a little bit more, maybe create some organization to this. So you might notice, you know, I did a little bit of a variation on color at the very top. These first guys right here, this is known as my row, and I'll even change colors for that, just to keep it on the same theme. These are known as my row headers, and that's the big word there, headers. And that's all they do is they just act as a way for me to uh, represent uh, a collection of information. So maybe, for example, this first one is called first, and then I got last, and then over here, this is a address, and maybe phone, email, subscribe. You know, if we're thinking about YouTube channels, hint, hint, it's like right down there, I think or it might be over here. I'm not really sure on that, but you know, whatever. But you can see, okay, well, first, last, address, phone, email, subscribe, those are all generic terms. But then if I come in right below here and I say, Adam, Goita, yeah, okay, we can start to see, I'm starting to fill in this data and maybe a little check mark there and, you know, a Goita, dot c f c c c f c c dot edu there we are and my phone and my address so we can start to flesh this out a little bit more 